no time, no getting over, get back, nigga. What I'm gonna cry for? You know how you go, stoop? Man, these middle of these folks shit, middle of the daytime, not gonna be outside. I wanna talk it. You talking about, I don't finna go, where else we going? Where else you wanna go? We in the mound with this shit. Yes, sir. I'm riding all through the mound. I'm tell you, hey, look, hold on, hold on, look. Do I'm telling you, I got 20 racks. I'm gonna ride all the way through this mother What time it is? It's about 5 o'clock in the daytime. Ain't no air in the morning and shit. You hear me? Late night shit. Middle of the daytime. Glee skirts. Talking about one, ain't nothing to spend on. Outside, stupid. I don't see no all women around all the way through this shit. Ain't nothing off gonna be outside. I ain't gonna lie. I swear to God, I think I'm trouble. Trapping today, yesterday, and tomorrow. Breaking out rest, no, they want me like Rollo. Some on the back of my steam, make it. Some on the bed, make my steam full of hot oil. Deepers got tanned, she suck and she swallow. She think it's fuck on my nail, but follow. Who she gonna turn up on near a Posado? She tryna make me spend my avocado. He said no look, and I didn't hit the lotto. Go get the money, you know this the motto. ALGG, all laws gotta go. It might take a little while, but they all gonna get hollow. Investigator Jessica Gertler uncovered some new details about Taylor and his possible connection to that young Dolph case. What do you know, Jess? Well, Greg, this goes back to February 2022. Joshua Taylor was named as a person of interest in young Dolph's death, but he was never charged. Tonight, police are remaining tight-lipped about this latest incident. Loved ones shared these photos of Joshua Taylor, a father of two, the latest victim of gun violence in Memphis. They were too upset to do an interview, but tell us Taylor, also known as CEO TZ, was found shot to death in Orange Mound Wednesday at Spotswood and Bunton. Those who live nearby tell us Taylor was actually shot the night before, discovered lifeless in a car hours later. MPD says the investigation is ongoing, refusing to answer any questions about the case or whether it has any link to Memphis rapper Young Dolph. In November 2021, Dolph was killed outside a South Memphis cookie store. Three months later, MPD called Taylor and another man persons of interest. Taylor was reportedly questioned but never charged. Those close to the case tell us Taylor is part of a group, the same group linked to the suspects charged in connection with Dolph's murder. We say, this we say, this all. Taylor's death has left the community on edge, as many fear the violence isn't over, that retaliation will only continue. Last week, Jamarcus Johnson pleaded guilty to three counts of accessory after the fact in Dolph's murder. Johnson was accused of helping the alleged shooters, one of them being his half-brother, get away. He has to tell the truth. Okay. That's, that's what this deal, this was guilty plea is hinged on his, uh, he has to tell the truth. Jamarcus Johnson is out on bond. He'll be sentenced in August. We've asked the DA's office if he'll get any protection, but haven't heard back. And going back to Taylor's killing that happened yesterday, loved ones tell us this loss has really hit them hard. They're just devastated, especially for his children.
فلاش باك دي جي هاسل ناو Yeah, how we got the motherfucking chulas in it, bitch? We got teased, scraped. Hey. What you talking about? Glow. No hey, you know you ready to blow. Young swirl. Young swirl. We got to be on TV. Talk to the camera, shine it out. You don't want to talk with me. Can't follow us on TV. Yeah. This is the new side money, look. This is how it looks. 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 You watch it, I'm still coming in late, though. You hear me? Yeah, nah, I'm still coming in late. Yeah, yeah, that's the end of that. I ain't seen it. on who this person is, but the community is talking and a source close to Fox 13 has told us that the victim is Josh Taylor, also known as CEO TZ. Now we're also getting that this was a hit by PRE DOS gang. Now this has not been confirmed by MPD, but we do know that Taylor was a person of interest in DOS murder. Now people I spoke with, they report hearing one witness that she heard. Uh, DOS on you, what, 2020? Yeah, like two years ago. Okay. So how did that whole situation come about? See, I really just in the, I really, when I started rapping, I just started dropping, like, I dropped like three, four songs and shit. Every song I used to drop, I used to send it to Daddy on Dog type shit. So they were hearing this shit. And when I would drop my video, shit, Dog was just calling me, and they asked me what I been doing and shit. And one day he just let me know, he was like, I'm a sign you type shit. And he told us to come sit down there and shit. And then he did this shit. Type shit. I ain't had them like three, four songs out type shit. That's it. Like he had faith in nigga, he already knew a nigga was hard type shit. Yeah. Then uh, he came to your hood, or I guess both of y'all yeah, hood. Yeah, he came to our hood Yeah, came to y'all hood. On the block where we all came up on Pulled type up on shit. Pulled up on the block. Yeah. yeah. Gave y'all the chains and, and everything. Shit, yeah. Pulled up and they camouflage off Yeah. Pulled up Rolls Royce, camouflage joint. Huh? Color. Orange, orange, uh, forges on these, right? Uh, With the orange goods. <laughs> no cap. Yeah, I think that was big just for the whole hood to be able to see that shit, too. Hey, to like the hood to see. happy here. The hood like, proud. It shit gave the hood hope. Woo. Absolutely. On the That's yeah. why it's a lot of young niggas. Also in the news, a man is now dead after a shooting happened on Castelia Heights this morning. Officers responded to the scene at 1 a.m. to the 800 block of Cloverdale Drive and found a 53-year-old man dead at the scene. Police also say that two men who appeared to be the ones responsible left the scene. Anyone who has any details, they are encouraged to call Crime Stoppers also at 901-528-CASH. Many, many minutes later. New information this evening, two people have been arrested in a deadly Castalia Heights shooting. Memphis police say 20-year-old Danielle Robinson and a 17-year-old teen have been charged with first-degree murder, carjacking, attempted carjacking, among other charges. And that's for their involvement in the shooting and killing of a 53-year-old man. The shooting happened on Saturday, June 17th, around 1 a.m., according to police. Investigators say the two suspects approached the victim's car from behind, and as he tried to drive off, the suspects fired shots, killing the victim. And I meant they turned the eye block to a party, nigga, have a fucking kickback. Yeah. And really with their mouth, nigga, yeah. hold the fucking chit chat. Yeah. On who this person is, but the community is talking, and a source close to Fox 13 has told us that the victim is Josh Taylor, also known as CEO TZ. Now, we're also getting that this was a hit by PRE DOS gang. Now, this has not been confirmed by MPD, but we do know that Taylor was a person of interest in DOS murder. Now, people I spoke with, they report hearing one witness that she heard.
I just went blue money Maybach on these folks, man. I don't care what the money's going. I'm having too much of this shit. Nigga, I got the hardest CEO in the game, too. Now, we went back to back Maybach on the folks. No IG daddy, yo, nigga. We went back to back Maybachs on these folks, man. Stop playing with us. Paper route business, bitch. Hey, man, you know what I'm saying? We shit these shit sucking for real, man. Stop playing with us. 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 Stop play